All right, let's go ahead and build this now. So I thought we're gonna have a nav bar, so I'm gonna do nav bar. And we're going to set this to fixed because I want this fixed on the page and I'm gonna do it to the left. And so it takes up the whole height and it'll always stick and it'll always stay fixed to the uh, to the left. Um, my logo, yeah, we can we can remove these from the container. So let me put a div in here and put in my brand, my nav menu, and the menu button. Delete the container. So now I have more control over the nav bar using a basic div block. And so with this div block, I'm going to call it nav flex because I'm going to flex it and it's going to be vertical. Same thing with this nav menu. Nav menu, flex it, vertical. Cool. Uh, in the brand, I'm going to put in my logo. Um, is that the one I want? Or, eh, well, you, you use this one. Cool, cool. I wish make it smaller. Um, take this uh, logo. Wait. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. We'll do it like that. And for the nav flex, I want to make sure that there's padding on both sides. Something spacey. Like, yeah, that's that's good right there. 32. Wow, it's easy to get a nav bar on the side. Yeah. So the thing about navbar, the Webflow navbar component is there's people who like to rebuild it from scratch and doing all the divs and whatnot and using Webflow interactions for the mobile version. But to me, I think it's easier to start from the component and break that up to what I want it to do. So I take the opposite approach. Um, everything inside of this should be centered and also, um, Let's see here. E text shouldn't be a line center, so never mind. But this should be centered. Center that? Yeah, we can. Cool. Let's push this away from the top and bottom. We'll say 42. Cool. This should be smaller. Let's give it a height of like, I don't know, 25? Ooh. Logo image. Why is this not? I think it's Flexbox that's causing this issue. I don't want it full. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Why? I'm so confused right now. Why are you doing that? Okay, maybe I have to do height or width. There it goes, width. Yeah, something like that. Cool. Natalia, hello, welcome. Yes, a lot more beginner friendly if you do, uh, if you, you do nav bar component first and then break it down from there rather than building up from scratch. That's my way. Okay. Um, let's see here. So now we have these and now I'm going to, what's my, um, site map. So my site map is right there. So home about skills project, home about skills. Actually, no, I'm not going to, uh, actually I'm going to do a, uh, link block because I want the icon. I like the icons in the design. So, um, where I get my icons is flaticon.com. It's all free. Most of them is free. So let's just get home. Dude, wait, don't I already have icon? Home. No. Icon? No. Oh. No. Don't I have icons already? Don't. Okay. Well then. I'll get icons. So search for home. Um, which one looks good? Uh, can I go thin 
or filled. See, this is why I'm not a designer. <laughs> um, I'll go for filled. Uh, let's go BG. Free download. Attribute the author. Thank you, B Q L Q N. There you go. Cool. I did give attribution. If you watch this stream, then he'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and drag that in here. Um, okay, let me just uh, icon home, drag it in here. Sometimes you can't drag inside a Webflow. I don't know why. Cool. Oh, wait, I don't want to get the SVG. I want to get the code. Yeah. So let's just quick. So this is the actual code. Um, is that the code? Hold on. Show in Finder. Removed. Oh, because I renamed it. Open with Sublime. Whoa. <laughs> By the way, my my kid was that is the code. Okay, <laughs> my kid was um playing with my computer, and this is her code. <laughs> She's so smart. She's coding. Anyways, um okay, so that's the SVG, and so what I want to do is I want to put in a Im embed. And put in the code. Actually, yeah, put in the code. And then I'm going to remove the ID. No, nope. move the ID and give it a class name of um, icon. All right, so check this out. I'm going to put that like that. Um, and we'll give this uh, class name of icon, embed icon. The width, height. You might be thinking, Nelson, it's not working. Hold on. Wait for it. I'm going to put another embed at the top. I'm going to put custom CSS in there. So I have full control. Um, so I'm going to do style, style. And class is icon with and height is a hundred percent. Please work. It did. There we go. Now I have more control over it. Good, that's good. And also current color is um Fill, I think. Hold on. Um, give this a class of nav link. Delete my previous styles. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh no, fill. I did it backwards. It's fill is current color. Ha ha! There it goes. So what it's doing is nice. I have control over you. Cool. So what you do is you give your embed, you you put in your SVG code in there, and you can find the SVG code from opening opening up the SVG image inside of like sublime text or even uploading it to webflow and clicking on the uh, open in new tab and then view source and then this is your code and then you can take that code i know it's a roundabout way but svgs are so much more cleaner than jpegs gif gifs and, and pngs so that's why i use it so take the extra time and you can do so much with it. All right.
So that's what I wanted to do. And then now I want text to say home sweet. So this nav link, let's make sure that everything's on the same line and um, horizontal, vertically aligned. Boom. And then this embed icon will have some space on the side. Something like that. Cool. Delete that one and keep working on this. So no underline. Um, why is the font Arial? There we go. Montserrat. Sweet. And if I'm going too fast, it's because I'm just building. And if you have a question about um, if I, if you have a question about what I'm doing, and you're like, "Hey, hey, how'd you do that, Nelson? Back up. Let me know in the chat." Wouldn't it be great if you can recolor SVGs in Webflow? Yes, doing all the steps I just did, just doing inside of Webflow with like. One function would be beautiful. Um, I think this should be smaller. I don't know. Feels too big. Mm -mm -mm. It's bold. All right. Yeah, it's bold because the icon is bold too. Logo, probably like 16. Mm, yeah, something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. And then I need how many? I need six. Oh, uh, what did you refine six? Three, four, five, six. Cool. It's down a bit. 16. Yeah, something like that. All right. So you have home about skills, client projects. Uh, now I'm kind of mad that I have like short and then long and then short again. So. Should I just say projects, put them together in one thing? Because it just seems weird. 